Silent Hill for the room. Okay. Return from Apartment World. I think we were about to get into Hospital World. Which is where basically the game gets follows into the second half. Which is where things get uh fun, let's say. I do need to pull up hold on, give me just a second. Um I do need to pull up this this uh supplies. I've got to pull up where the holy candles are because we need those to get the good ending. So because the first one is in Hospital World. So I'm gonna make sure we grab that. Okay. So I think we had just opened this hole. Where will it lead this time? Eileen, I wonder if she's okay. Yeah, we had just finished a uh, apartment where she got marked as uh, part of the ritual. Uh, we saw the ambulance take her away. And uh, now I think we're going to follow up on that. Bit of story, so. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna skip the tunnel scenes again because the flashing lights are unnecessary. Oh, I need to... Hold on. Once we get in here, I need to adjust the Elgato. Yeah. There we go. Fix the brightness a little bit so you guys can see what I see. Okay, yeah. We are in Hospital World. Hello, Walter. What you doing there, Walter? Creepy. I'm not sure what happens if you go back in here. Strange human shape object. Oh, by the way, uh, these are the uh, new nurses, I believe. I believe that's what they're called. Let me double check. <laughs> they are called. Patients. Sorry, they're not nurses. They are patients. How do I ever put that? door, but that's fine. Got a note. Nurse's memo. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. She was a patient brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Okay. If I remember correctly, there's a puzzle here. St. Jerome's Hospital. There's a puzzle here that I think we need x-rays for. Maybe I'm thinking homecoming, actually.
said Eileen, are you still alive? But for some reason, when I said Eileen, I'm not sure why that is. Okay, this is a paper cutting knife. It's hard to use as a weapon. No, you don't say. I just swore one of these. Can we break these? No. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, this leads back out. Stop these out. Okay, I'm guessing this way is blocked. Yep. That's where we came from. Okay, triangle does that. Okay. So let's go this way. I see, is that a health drink or is that the candle? Nutrition drink. We'll definitely have use for that. TV. I wonder if Eileen was in this room. Okay, there's a room in front of us, and then three rooms down the hall. What is this way, though? Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. One of them is going to be a stair, so... Okay, we got lockers. Okay, there's a hole there, so if we want to go back and save, we can. We'll be fine. What is this? It's a purse? I guess it's Eileen's purse. Must be Eileen's. Take Eileen's bag. Handbag looks like it could cause a little bit of damage. Baby medical chart. Yikes. Okay, what's this? Portable med kit. Alright, might have to go to the hole just to store some stuff. So we, we do have limited inventory space. Oh, God. Okay. We're gonna just... Uh, nope, past you guys. Okay, there is a drink there. Ah! I don't know why they burp when you hit them, but that is that is what we get. So, uh... Okay, that didn't even hit me, but sure. I'm just going over here because I saw this. Now they're both dead. I saw the ampule, but I thought I saw also saw a healing drink. Okay, well the ampule is still worth it though. Okay, so let's go back in the hole and deposit some of this stuff. I don't know. Yeah, because there's the elevator. Do we go? Can we go in here? Are these the stairs? Those are the stairs. Because I think the elevator's broken. So. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So I was like, I know there's a camera to f or a button to flip the camera, so I was trying to figure out what it is. Okay, let's go home and store some stuff. Hopefully the haunts don't start, because we don't have a way to deal with it. Well, we have, technically we have a pendant we can use to deal with it. Um, because if you hold the pendant near a haunt long enough, it will take care of it. I think you can get, like, two haunts per pendant. But 
I prefer to use the candles, because I think that's the intended method. We will find out the hard way. You'll, you'll know when you get haunted, because... Uh, one, your health will stop regenerating. And two, you'll hear a large crash in your living room. But uh, thankfully, we did not take the baby doll, so we don't have to worry about the storage storage monster. Let me store that away, store that away. Store that away. I guess we could store that for now. I don't remember if you need Eileen's handbag. Or Eileen. Let's go ahead and save. Um, I don't think she uses her handbag. So actually, I'm, I think I'm going to store that for now, because I can always get it to her later if it's necessary. Others. Okay, it's a... Okay, so it is a key item. Okay, so let's keep that with us then. Can't use this here. Okay. It's facing the wall. All right, hospital world. Here we go. So this, the hospital world is basically the halfway point. Um, now, depending on how well we do with the second half of the game, we might be able to get through it quickly, but uh, it is uh, it is very dependent on... No, why is this light on? Interesting. Um, it's very dependent on uh, AI and monster. Well, AI basically. It's all dependent on the AI of the of the things we're going to be dealing with. Oh, do we have a new note? No. Oh, we should probably look through the. So that was that's what sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Still at nineteen though, which is interesting because. She was supposed to be 20. She's marked as 20, which might be a hint as to uh, her current condition. Also, yes, there was, there was a reason for the scene of uh, Walter rooting around in the uh, bowels of a woman on that table. It'll make a lot more sense once we get deeper in. Uh, also, also, Walter will become a namestay of our run moving forward, because he's just a little—he's a little troll, and he likes to—he likes—he likes chaos. So, we'll have to deal with that. Okay, this, so this should be—does this recognize? First floor or second? Oh, this is second floor. Okay. So, fun piece of trivia about this. Um, this is actually, I think, one of the few, if if maybe the only hallway, where these doors, what's through these doors, is randomized. So... What's that? Um, is that a dead body? Can I not pick up this thing on the ground? Yeah, so it looks like a four iron. Um, these doors are randomized. So, there is right and left, I think, seven? If I remember correctly, how many doors? One, two... Three, four, five. There's, uh, yeah, I think there's like seven or eight doors on either side. Um, what you get is just basically solely dependent on the RNG. So you can get Eileen as early as the first room, I think, on 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 either side, and. Um, Umbilical cords. Yeah, this is a uh, room for with the babies. Um, but 
you can also get it as late as the last rooms um, in the hallway. And yes, the wheelchairs do hurt you. Uh, you can, uh, I know some newer players might not know, you can use the pendant to keep the chairs away from you. Um, the reason why I'm exploring these rooms <clears throat> is because there's there's two main reasons. <clears throat> um, actually, I think it's there's three reasons specifically for us. Uh, but one, I think we have to find a key in one room because remember she said the nurse says she left a key in a room, in a patient room. Also, hello. Um, we have to find Eileen. And we also... I gotta stop doing that. Uh, we also need to find a room with a vase, because behind that vase will be a holy candle. Also, yes, this is a, this is a very sticky room. If it wasn't obvious. But we're looking for a room with a vase, because we need the holy candle, which is the item we need to get rid of haunts. Um. Revolver bullets. I don't even have a revolver. Also, by the way, do you see the shadow? Someone sitting in the wheelchair. But when we look at the wheelchair, there's no one there. Very cool effect, by the way. You can still see them in the shadow moving. So... Also, this is our hint that these toadstools grow out of people. Um. Wow, we are getting some pretty terrible luck here, honestly. Is there a way to see your health? Oh, it's there. Okay, you gotta ready your weapon. Gotta be careful. These wheelchairs will hit you. Yeah, we're... Uh, we are not getting the best luck in the world. I love the spike room. That, that gets people a lot, too. No wheelchair. Can I say I love the wheelchair enemies in the game because they're so funny the way they turn around and collide? Yeah! Uh, I don't know if you heard uh, just a few seconds ago. You can actually get to the wheelchairs to leave you alone if you have a pendant on you. Um, there we go. That's one of the items we need. The, 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 the pendants, they can be used, uh, some of their energy can be used to break a haunt, but they can also be used to get the wheelchairs to go away, which is, which is nice. The, re the, the hint to that is, is you hear this sound right here, the static. This is the same sound the ghosts make, and the ghosts are also repelled by the medallion for a short period of time. Um, so that's your hint. Also, the other hint is we found the room where there's a wheelchair with a shadow in it. So these wheelchairs are not unoccupied. We just can't see the ghosts that are in them. Okay, well, that's that's her room. Okay, I don't want to go to her room just yet. Because I'm still looking for... Wow, that's a lot of... HP stuff. I'm still looking for the holy candle. There's a holy candle in one of these random rooms. But, let's see. How many doors does that take? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. She was on R8, dude. Jesus. And there's what? 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 24 doors. She can spawn in any of these. So can the key. So she was in R8. So it's, there, you, it's right 8 and left 8 is how you denote that. Um, but 
Yeah, that's that's a pretty garbage spawn. Not not really uh not not. I think one of the times I played, I think the best one I got was like L3 for her. Also, we got to show off this room. Hi. Everyone say hi to creepy head. This is a this is a room sometimes people miss. Um So, love that room. That room's fun. Okay, where is the boss room? Again, don't ask me why the patients burp. I do not know. I do not know why the patients burp when you hit them. Um, <laughs> it's it's just how it is. Welcome to Silent Hill Four. Okay. Oof. Double patient room. Okay, she's not dead. Also, the AoE stomp is, is a nice thing. I don't remember how many games have that, but I think... There's a few games that have AoE Stomp. Human Skin. It also has a keyhole on it, which is kind of cool. There's a lot of little hidden things in these, like, rooms here, which is why I'm showing them off. We, we could get Eileen and, and leave. But again, I'm looking for the candle, which I might have already missed, honestly, but... Oh, nope, there it is. Boop. That's what we're looking for. That is the, the last thing that we needed. I'm going to go ahead and just drink this to top off. Because I think we're going to need it. Is this the room we were just in? No. Handgun bullets. By the way, if you get that reference, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Handgun bullets. Ujujima. If you don't get the reference, uh, there was a game on uh, Dreamcast, which I do have, by the way, um, that I played a lot when I was younger. It was called uh, Zombie Revenge, and uh, it was like an action game, but like with like weird zombies. Can't hold anymore. Um... Really don't want to... I guess we can drop the handgun. Is dropping a thing we can do? Uh, I guess we'll just drink this. I probably should have put the handbag away. Saint Medallion. Those things. The Saint Medallion's there. So if you have this equipped, uh, you can uh, make the chairs move away. All right, so let's pick up... Let's grab Eileen. She should be in this door. Hello, Eileen. And now, the fun starts. Why are you grabbing her like that, dude? 20 of 21. That's what's carved into her back. But! She's not dead. Henry? From next door. What are you doing here? I don't... I don't know where to start. There was this strange hole in my room. I saw people getting killed. All these weird other worlds. And I saw you get attacked too. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to believe that? But it's true. And there was a kid with you. Oh. 
Oh, there's a pending king person. Let me grab him aggressively. Yeah, exactly. You're like, mm. I'm just getting ready to go to the king's party. The boy protected me from the man with the coat. Mmm. Mm. Interesting. The boy protected her from the man in the coat. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. The child may not be a malevolent a spirit at all. I just feel so scared. <laughs> this place. Where is it anyway? It's a hospital, technically. Uh, I don't know either. But I do know that if you get killed here, then you die in the real world, too. <laughs> this is the real world. What are you talking about? Anyway, the only way out of here is through that hole. Okay. Okay. Take me with you. And that is the line that's uttered before the sequence where this, began, this game became the most polarizing game in the Silent Hill franchise. Because our lovely friend Eileen here is now an escort quest. And you might think, oh, well, it'd be like Maria, where, you know, if she takes a certain amount of hits, uh, she dies, which is not the case. Um, crap. Uh, the case with her is significantly worse, where uh, the, the more she gets hit, um... the less health she'll have at the end of the game. Um, which is important for us if we're trying to get the good ending. So this is where I'm going to start nuking our way through the ammo that we have, because we basically we got to play defense. Also, if she's too far away from you, she will not go through a door, and she will take consistent damage, essentially. Chill. Out. Punk. This is also why I'm playing on easy, because these monsters, as well as some later on... Ow. ...are going to be a colossal pain. Uh, there's, very, there's a very specific hallway we will see when we get to Water Prison, where you will understand why this escort quest can be... ...unbelievably annoying. Alright, so the hole is here. Into the hole. This is also where we find out a, a lovely little story beat of. <laughs> the 2000s of gaming. Yeah, there were a few escort quests um, throughout there. Like, there was. What was it? Uh. Eco was also an escort quest game, uh, which a lot of people actually enjoyed. Um, but I, th I think the, the issue with this one was it was not what people were expecting from a Silent Hill game, and it takes up the entire second half of the game. Um, like, if it was like Maria, where it's in segments... I think it would have been... Uh, people probably would have been more okay with it. They probably would have argued that, oh, it's a rehash of Maria. Um, they are wearing similar clothes, by the way. Uh, but, uh, 